Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I am working on an illustration that I had started for a call for an illustrator for a very specific type of call. And it was to design two characters that were animal-like in a quality, so maybe like a rodent or raccoon. So I started this last time. And the call also asked for bright colors. So I have bright, bright colors for the hair and the jacket. I'm going to continue to work on this today. I think where I want to start is actually with the raccoon face. And I think a color, the color gray would make sense. And then black around the eyes, maybe keeping it a little bit lighter in the cheek just for some definition and then a black nose so there's going to be a lot of darks and i'm going to have to focus on my shadows midtones, and highlights to make sure that there's some difference kind of going on here i'm going to be using a mix of watercolor pencils and my liquid watercolors that i used last time i want this to look I want to do a really nice job with the gray because this is a face, so I consider it like a portrait, and I want to keep it really natural looking and not like blocky. So I'm going to come in, oops, I want to just, there's a bit of a correction that needs to be made here. So this should be like a little tuft of hair. Like this character has like a tuft of hair coming out. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna start with some watercolor pencil and just go in with some of my shadows first. So the ear is gonna be probably the darkest spot, the inside of the ear, so I'm gonna use my watercolor for that. And then I really want this tuft of hair that's coming out the top of this character's head to have some real definition here, but still stay pretty close to that gray. So I'm just gonna come in and do some dark lines. And then I'm going to come in to the face here and just kind of darken up like this was hair. So it has a, some texture to it, which I'm not going to be able to, not that I wouldn't be able to get it with the liquid watercolor, it's just going to be a lot easier to add that texture with the pencil. So this is as far as I'm going tonight. It looks like I have a few details left. And of course the background, that's always something I need to contemplate. I have a lot of bright colors here. So I have some options for the background behind these two characters. 
Yeah. That's the only really difficult thing about working in such a bright color palette is your backgrounds are going to be pretty limited. And then of course the characters themselves are gray. So that's black and white. Brown might be a viable option. Maybe a reddish brown would be something I could add in there. Maybe I wanna do something with trees just in case, just so it would look like maybe the, the trunks of the trees would be brown and the top would be of course more green. I really have to put some effort into thinking about what that would look like. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. If you would like to see me do anything like this, of course, leave me a comment. And I am an illustrator for hire. So please, if you are interested in illustrating any of your stories, poems, or anything at all, let me know. And of course, we could work together to see what we could do. And you could bounce some ideas off of me. This is not done yet. I will continue to work on it next time. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and of course subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button so you can see all the work as I do it and it comes up and available for your viewing. All right, everyone, have a warm and wonderful rest of your day.